Hello everyone. Today we're going to have fun with uh, magnetic clamping or magnetic coupling. You remember the work I did, uh, the video I showed with a little magnetic um, is there hematite and uh, quite magnetic. But uh, remember the coupling that we found between these little hematite eggs, they're called. Today I'm going to use uh, little ferrite magnets pretty strong but you know not real strong hematite is probably yeah about as strong <laughs> okay and I'd like to do it as a quiz so I'm going to ask you some questions and invite you to answer in advance I'm going to take two little steel steel balls here so they're not uh, magnetized you can see they don't correlate really but we're going to go ahead and put those magnets ferrite magnets there and put uh, cardstock four layers there so that the magnets don't actually touch the uh, steelies we call these steel spheres steelies I'm going to pull on the second steely and the question is the first one the inner one is it going to stay with the magnets or go with the, the second ball okay make your decision Let's see if you're right. Ah, it went with the second ball. And now, let's move this. Are they correlated? Yeah, actually they are. They're kind of, it's this coupling that we've talked about. But once they separate, then they don't couple anymore. Okay, now we're going to actually put the uh, balls, the steelies, onto the magnet. Ah, try it again. This time... What do you predict? Will the inner sphere uh, stay with the magnets or go with the second ball? Ah, sure enough, it goes with the second ball. And again, they're they're coupled until they get pulled apart, and then they're they're not magnetized particularly. Okay, now we're going to go to something else here. You see this? I've got um, ferrite C and I for a transformer. I bought this out of Nebraska Surplus Electronics. Not too expensive. Fair eye, you see. And so they don't. They don't stick together. I mean, there's no... But I've taken some RCA speaker wire. This is 18 gauge wire, 50 feet. I bought it at Lowe's. Pretty cheap. And I've got it wound in the bifider way so that the current, I'm going to use my uh, power supply, I'll also use a 9 volt battery. Anyway, the current goes around, around, into the center, comes out, and I send it back outside for the paired wire, around, around again, into the center, and then to ground. So that's what we call bifiler. Uh, it's a Tesla trick to, to do it that way. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, and I do have this hooked up uh, so I can read things on my meter here,